Hello. I haven't posted anything in a super long time, um, but I wanted to post two books that I made um, through a class run by my friend, Julia Bethman, who um, is an artist and a teacher. And she has been teaching a series of classes at the Newburyport Art Association. And um, the first one was jelly printmaking and the second one was bookmaking. So uh, I have the books here that I made. They're filled with jelly prints that I made and from the first class. So I thought I would just take a peek. Um, the first book is just a single signature. Uh, and I did some jelly printing on a piece of uh, canvas or, um, uh, yeah, just canvas. Um, so that's the cover. And um, this is the, the center signature. Uh, mostly this is filled with uh, just paper that I'm going to use in her next class, which is about um, self-portrait through collage. But I thought that I would just... So a lot of these pages are blank, waiting to waiting for that class. Um, but I thought I'd share some of the jelly printed pages um, on music paper, um, on deli paper. on envelope. I really like these are um, masks from Michelle Ward that are lovely ferns. I really love that series of masks and stamps that she did. This uh, stencil is um, pretty sure it's Tracy Bautista. And this is just cleaning the plate after several, I don't clean the plate between um, prints. And uh, this is some of that brown deli paper that um, Nick the Booksmith has recently been using. Uh, and this is just actually, this is just um, newsprint. And this is actually cleaning the stencil. So taking a baby wipe after I've made my prints, putting it on this and just cleaning it with a baby wipe. And it makes these lovely, lovely prints as well. So that's that little one. This one is the class where she uh, taught us how to um, use a, a book, and hollow it out, and then put in our own signatures. Um, so that also has those same um, little things from the center signature. Uh, and I've actually begun to use this. I've actually been begun to decorate inside. Um, so this is a picture that we, um, turmeric dyed in a class with Orly Avenieri. Uh, I have a whole bunch of stuff that I turmeric dyed and um, some of it I put these um, metal whatever you call those, because I'm sure you know what they're called. <laughs> so they rusted up very nicely. Um, and then some stamping here. Uh, this is one of the jelly prints that I made and just um, tore off and put in here from the jelly printing class. Um, I made a whole series of jelly prints on sticker paper. So, you know, just the kind that you get like at the Staples um, and just using those on the jelly print, um, on the jelly press. You can see I have a whole bunch of these uh, where, it, so this is the jelly print and then you'll see it, how it kind of cuts down when you take the sticker off. <clears throat> I made a lot of those because those are pretty fun. I mean, who doesn't love stickers, right? This is um, on some kind of very thick sort of fibery paper. Um, I'm sure you can't see the texture on the video um, but, um, pricking up little pieces of a previous print in that, I don't know if you can see on the camera, that gold, uh, turned out lovely. And, um, this stencil is like a Donna Downey stencil of, um, some flower. Um, so I've just gone in little places and started to decorate. This is another sheet where, um, I was just cleaning off the stencil. 
onto newsprint. And it turned out, I mean, I really love those. Um, this is this was just like a um, where I rolled my um, I forget what you call these things that you use, but I just after I would roll onto the jelly plate, I would just roll off the um, paint onto some scraps, and then it, and then cleaning. You can see I cleaned off like a bubble stencil here, and it just ends up making a happy yummy mess. And so I started to collage onto that. Um, these are some lovely uh, stickers from uh, Pepin, has these really great books of paper and stickers. Um, so that's some of that. This is ephemera, so old, I have no idea where it's from. Um, but this, this paper is uh, cut out of a different book um, that I gutted. These are digi downloads, so old I cannot tell you where they are from. Some stamping. Here's another one of those stickers um, made on a jelly plate where I just used the sticker instead of a regular piece of paper. Um, various bits of ephemera. My God, who doesn't have 10 million little pieces of ephemera lying around? Um, and collaging is great for that. So I also put some coffee stain paper, some just lovely bits of paper from too many years of collecting. Uh, here's another, um, what is this kind of paper? Oh, this is that same um, newsprint where I cleaned off a stencil and it looks like this because I covered it with a uh, collage page, I think eventually. I had a bunch of stickers on here um, that were made on the jelly plate and I was kind of worried that they wouldn't stay down and I wanted to collage some other things so stamps, stickers, and all covered with collage page. Uh, I also had a bunch of these like filing cards, um, index cards, um, used them on the jelly plate and then have done some collaging there. Here's the other side of that. Uh, here's some clear stickers where I bought clear stickers and used those on the jelly plate. This is one of my favorite, maybe. Uh, this was some, um, um, you know, from a paper pack at Michael's and I just cleaned off this roller. It had like a light blue paint and I just cleaned it off onto there. But the back of this is just layers and layers left on the jelly plate, not cleaning it in between. And then uh, you cover it with white paint and you just pull up all this phenomenal yummy goodness. And so it just looks like old wallpaper to me. It's so that's probably one of my favorite things and it like wasn't even intentional or like I was trying to create something it was just like cleaning up the mess and it's probably one of my favorite this is a paper bag um, this is another one where I cleaned up the jelly plate and then um, and then uh, reverse this is a, a stencil which you saw me cleaning over there. Um, I, don't, I don't even remember how I did that. <laughs> it's another jelly print, several layers. So that's, Julia was really good about teaching us several layers. I'll try to put a link to Julia's website in the um, thing below because she's teaching many classes and she has a blog and she does videos. So uh, she's a great person to learn from. And if you are in Massachusetts, you can take classes with her. I mean, look at that. Oh my God, it just, it's so awesome. Um, kind of skipping some pages because you don't need to see every single page, do you? This 
So all, the, a lot of these stencils are Michelle Ward stencils. This one is Michelle Ward. Um, this one is like, I don't know, pre, Prima, I think Prima. Um, I have so much of this paper pack stuff that is paper I don't super like. And so then I'm like, let me use that. Or maybe I like one side, but I hate the other side. So let me use that on the jelly plate. I love using music paper also on the jelly plate. I wish I'd put that on the jelly plate because I'm not a big fan of that, but oh well, c'est la vie. Okay, so those are the two books and I will link to Julia below. Have a great day.